So another new update of rising OS is once again here. And in this one, as you can see, this is something really, really amazing. I'm just swiping or basically shaking my device to enable Gemini. For example, let me try again. As you can see, just by shaking my device, I'm able to use Gemini on my device. And that's something really interesting. This is just one of the things which is available in rising OS latest update. We have rising UI 3.2 official version available on my device, which is Pixel 7a and it's available for some other devices already. If you did not got the update yet, you will get very, very soon. Having the latest security patch, it also brings you some new changes with the updater. With this new update, we finally have new updater and updater UI because rising UI is already focusing on some new UI changes. That's why updater is also not the boring one which you have in all the devices, all the custom rooms. So far, it is a different one. It's a little bit different as you can see. Similar to Lineage OS, by the way, the preferences are kind of similar, just a themed dialer, basically themed updater, you can say modified or just the UI elements are rearranged and changed, etc. Local updater update option is also added so yes now you can update your rising ui through ota with the help of local update in case you want to another one which i found here is the user switcher in the lock screen so if you are using multiple users on your device now you can easily switch between users directly from the lock screen the feature was the feature is actually not new it was already available previously from some time but actually with the previous update with qpr2 because qpr2 merged the things were changed, a lot of features were missing, but now it's finally back and you will be able to enable this thing. It's not enabled by default, you just have to move to settings, personalize, lock screen and here you will see in interface section, user switcher. Just enable this option and simply restart your system UI and you are good to go. One more thing is because we are talking about the customizations here, some changes, some very useful changes are present in this case. So for example, in the quick settings panel, if you use landscape mode, the split screen, the split screen quick settings panel UI is adapted. And uh, I think so it was not available in the previous update. It's been some time since we used this. So the left side, we have quick setting tiles and the right side, we have notification shade. So the quick settings is now split it to two things or two parts. You can say two sides. To be honest, it's looking just so good. So at the starting of the video, you noticed I, I just launched Gemini directly by, the, by shaking my device, how you can enable this thing. Simply move on to the personalized section and you will find a lot of customizations there. Like me, if you're also confused where are all the customizations, you can simply search for it or else simply move on to miscellaneous navigation and you will find shake gestures. In this case, I have chosen the search assistant option. Make sure Google Assistant is not there. Basically, Gemini or Google Assistant is a default one so that you will be able to use them also. Except that you also have some other options available too. But in case you want to use Gemini like me, because this is quite useful in some cases, by the way, because sometimes intensity is quite high. So accidentally, this might open. So in that case, simply choose the intensity. You can change the intensity. As you can see, shake gestures intensity option is present there. Increase or decrease, uh, it's totally up to you what you want to do with it so these were some noticeable changes which we found rising quest is already having a lot of very very useful things for example depth wallpaper which i have already shared with you in the previous update previous video we already have the custom clock styles ios style lock screen which is having all the widgets too some nothing os inspired widgets including that some a lot of lock screen customizations by the way we have some theming options, signal icons, quick settings, panel customizations, setting styles. Overall, a lot of things are changed. Still, I found a bit of bugs available here and there. So unfortunately, it's not 100% stable, at least for my device. I tried it on two devices yet so far. So I'm just facing only minor bugs. So because this is a lot of customization focus, custom room, so that's kind of expected. But yes, a lot of things are fixed from the previous update. So let's just hope the things could go well this time. Let's see. But yes, the link is already available in the description in case you want to install this thing. This is all. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you like this, don't forget to drop a like. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.